Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Tuesday, June the 4th, 2024, and this is my Floss Tube episode 122. I would like to say hello and welcome to any and all new subscribers. Thank you so very much for checking me out, and hopefully you will stick around so that I can enable you with a project or two. And to my returning friends, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I upload a video. Um, I am preparing for, I've had a very good week of stitching um, and getting ready for StitchCon. Thank you all so very much for uh, safe travel wishes and um, let you know, saying have fun at StitchCon. Um, I enjoy StitchCon every year, so I um, can't wait to go back and see some of my friends again that I only get to see during StitchCon. So I am um, packed and ready. Um, I'll be share sharing with you the projects that I do plan on taking and where they stand at for right now. Um, it's been a very good stitchy week, kind of low key, just uh, doing what I need to do to get ready to be gone. Um, for these couple of days so um and i'm looking forward to a break from work so i um have my may stats and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into what i worked on in may i had six new starts um and that does include the restart from flea market flowers i had four finishes i stitched for 28 days and i stitched a total of 6,989 stitches, which is an average, I didn't do the average, I forgot, which is an average of about 250 stitches a day, and um, so that's pretty good, um, I was really surprised that I stitched six almost 7,000 stitches in uh, the month, but um, with the new starts that I had, um, it really increased the amount um, because I started um, four, I know four new projects were for Mental Health May, so I know that I had that many new starts at least for Mental Health May, so we'll just keep plugging along on those. Um, I uh, usually try to finish at least one project during the month uh, for Mental Health May, but this time I didn't do that. I focused on getting a new start for each Wednesday, and then I'll just work on them from now until next May. Um, some of them will probably, a couple of them will probably be put on my year of whips. And if you are so inclined, Emily Call has released two more patterns in the I Am series. That's what she's calling it. And one of them is I Am Strong. And I can't remember what the other one is, but I do plan on purchasing both of those patterns. So go over to Emily Call Stitching and check out the new designs in the I Am series. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I have um, a new start, um, whips. I don't have any finishes. Um, I'm going to give you what I plan on taking with me to StitchCon. I have a, two investments, and then I will let you go to your next floss tube video. The first, what I would like to share with you is... I did have a new start on the last Wednesday of the month, and it is Wings of Change by Silver Creek Sampler, Samplers, and it says, the butterfly is proof that you, in darkness, can be transformed to, and that um, really speaks to me. I started this on a, this is the only one I didn't put on a board. 
I started it on a um, 32 count drizzle by Color and Cotton, and I am using the classic Colorworks and DMC threads on it. And I put in the first part. This is this part of the butterfly's wings, all of the black for the butterfly's wings. That is 232 stitches. So I put in, um, I outlined the black and I put in the white up above here. There's some more white stitches that need to go in down there. But let me show you the, this is a lovely grayish blue fabric. So I really enjoyed working on this. I started it um, Wednesday morning and worked on it all day. Well, after work, I started it before work and then worked on it after work. And I um, am truly enjoying it. I'll be working on putting, getting the rest of the butterfly in and then I'll be moving over to that flower. Um, so that was my final uh, mental health care sal um, start for 2024. Okay, so next I I'm going to share my whips with you. And the first whip I would like to share is my Temperature Turtles. And this is by Stitching Mommy. And here's a picture of where it was when I last shared it. I didn't put this on the board either. And here's the the total look of the butterflies right, I mean the butterflies, of the turtles right now. And the turtle that I finished was the May turtle. And as you can see, these are upper 80 days here. These are mid to low, uh, these are upper 70s. But I finished the um, May turtle on June the 1st. So now I'll be coming over and putting in the June turtle. I work on this project every Sunday. Um, I probably will, it'll probably be like two weeks before I'll work, get to work on it again. I am stitching this on, I'm stitching this on a 32 count whimsical by Be Stitch Me. And I am using a sulky color, a sulky floss conversion that I came up with. For uh, temperature turtles, I put in this week, I put in 424 stitches. My next project is my Whip Go project that was chosen by Miss Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch. And it also is the O in the acrostic float, which is for the magazine monthly challenge. I am also using this as a new to you in the Whipagories, which is by Sammy J. For the floss, um, the floss is Soulmate by Night Stalker Calling. That's a whole lot. I said a whole, <laughs> I said a whole lot right there. Here's what it, um, the chart looks like. EJ went through and broke this all up into 13 parts. And this is May. So this was April's month. This is May's month. This is June. And this is July. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. 
So the last time I worked on this, uh, the last time I showed it, since then I have added the seven and the nine. I brought the border down some more over here and I put in all of this middle section here. My whip go goal is 700 stitches per project. So far with the addition of the seven and the nine and what I have done here so far, I have put in 535 stitches. And it is the 4th of June. But this motif is, hu is huge. Um, so I still have more to go in it. Um, so if I do happen to get the motif completed for the month, down to where the month is because this actually goes into September and October. Although I, I plan on stitching the entire motif all at once or, you know, keep working on that motif until um, I get it completed. Then I can come over and put in the, the May. Well, this is actually part of July also. This motif here is part of July. Um, and this is the part for May. I do still have a couple of, um, I need to add those to, see these here. I need to add those on top and I keep forgetting every time I pull it out to do that. So the next time I work on this, I'll be pulling it out and making sure that I get this motif finished because there's also some Algerian eyelets that need to go in this section here. But I had a very good, um, I stitched on this on the second, um, and literally I stitched on it um, practically all day. Um, it, it just flowed so easily. I was stitching with um, friends on chat and I never thought that I would be able to like work on this project on a on a friend's chat um, because it's on 46 count by Color and Cotton. It's a no-name fabric. It's a limited edition is what they call it. Um, and I never thought that I would be able to like work on it on a friend's chat because it is on 46 count. But I was able to put some stitches in um, and get some good stitching in. Um, on Sunday. So that was for the O. That was One Dozen Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And that stood for the O in float. It stands for the New to You, which is Night Stalker Calling Floss. And it also is my whip go, which was number two, chosen by Miss Dina, half stitch, cross stitch. All of a sudden, my throat is like. Argh. Okay. The next project I worked on, I actually worked on to do some prep for StitchCon. I'm taking this project with me to StitchCon. And it is Home of a Needleworker by Little House Needleworks. And here's a picture of where it was when I last worked on it. This project is on my year of whips. And so I will be, you'll start to see it more and more and more and more um, because I really want to get it finished up and here is where I am on it now so what I did was is I literally put in the roof so that I would have some good fill-in stitching for stitch con um, if I get so inclined I could um, come down 
keep coming down with the house. Like if I get ahead, I need to put that floss in my bag. Um, I could come down and and do the blue also in the house because the dormer is here. You know what I mean? If I get where I'm still wanting to work on this, then I can come down and put in the work on putting in part of the house. So this is a, a doable goal. I can get this finished, I do believe, this year. So that's where I stand on um, Home of a Needleworker. And um, I'm bringing this because Carolyn and I actually started this project together um, September of September the 1st, 2023. And so I think I can, I probably could cut my fabric now. I got a whole quarter yard of fabric I could be using. It is being stitched on um, a 28 count vanilla cream by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. And I'm just looking, oh, blue jeans. Um, because I used, um, a DMC for the for the house or for the thread color so I'm going to look and see uh, what old blue jeans lo looks like I do like the variegation in the house I am using the called for um, classic color works but for some odd reason I think it was one of the ones that was stolen um, I don't have old blue jeans I had well, it wasn't stolen. He gave it to somebody else, and they never did bother to bring it to me. My postman did that. Um, and I put in 109 stitches to prep that for StitchCon. My next um, whip is... Half the Fun by Ink Circles. And here's a picture of where it was when I last shared it. And here is where it is now. So, since you've seen it last, I had to make a correction here at the start of the train. I brought this part of the, which is going to end up being a track that, like, it mimics this here. I added this um, balloon also. So far, I have put in 225 stitches in this project. I will be taking this also. It is my travel piece to go. Um, it's my travel piece, period. I'll be taking it to StitchCon with me also. I'm hoping to get some good work in this middle section or put back in. So if you recall, I had quite a bit of problems in this section here. So I need to go back in and put the part that is missing so like the airplane is missing um there was something else that's missing over there but i have a, a, i need to go over and correct this part to ma to match this part because i had to take it out I'm stitching this on a 16 count Fortnite fabric. I do not recall what the name of it is. And I'm using a uh, Roxy Floss Co. Vampish as the floss. It is a very deep, deep purple. And I 
that is being used for the A in float for airplane because there's an airplane in the chart. So that will be going with me. And I have an announcement to make. Oop. Oh, I moved you. Okay. So for this week, with those five projects, one, two, three, four, five, I stitched uh, 1,525 stitches. That was A for. And so now I'm going to share with you. I have a wonderful friend, um, and she knows who she is, and she knows what she did. And she sent me um, a whole roll of stickers for mental health care. So I will be passing some of these out at StitchCon. Um, for mental health care, mental health awareness. There's, um, there's probably six different stickers in here, but she sent these to me. So thank you so very much. I, you know how much I truly appreciate you. And the only other, um, investment that I have is my floss frenzy from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, and I received it, and here are the colors. It is galvanized garnet. This is the G section. Garrison green, glacial melts, gold, and golden rod. So those are the club flosses for this month, or it was for May. So those were my two, um, I'm wondering, should I take my, um, Stitchy Investments bag with me to Stitch Con? Okay. Card came out of a bag and I need to make sure I get it back in the right bag, so... Okay, so I um, asked you all to vote, and I thank you so very much for all of you that did vote. The river did end up being the winner for um, the um, WIPGO call, so I will be incorporating the river into my WIPGO. Oh, and I, oh, I did pull it. And let me show you again what that looks like. I am stitching this middle section and it is being stitched on a 16 count Evil Queen by Be Stitch Me. And it's not 16 count, it's 14 count. Evil Queen by Be Stitch Me, and I am using DMC Blanc as my floss. So I will be putting in 700 stitches on this project for this month. Thank you all so very much. It was very, it was really fun watching the numbers come in. Um, it was close in the beginning and then um the river just took over um so i thank you and appreciate you all so very much so i i won't be taking the river with me to stitch con um but i'll be working on it when i come back what i will be taking with me oh what i will be taking with me is okay i showed you um half the fun it'll be going like i'm getting after i do this video i'm putting all my projects in my stitchy bag so i'm like not trying to put them back away so that i lose track of them 
I also um, have shown you that I will be taking Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. I worked on this um, for Mental Health May. And I pulled out some, I'm um, not pulled out, I put in some places where I could do some fill-in stitching. So I'll be able to work on filling in the leaves and this flower here. And if I get so inclined, there's another flower that I could put in over here. So that'll be going with me. I do like to do pre uh, outline stitching so that I can just sit and fill in while I'm talking. Um, I know a lot of people don't really, they, they're they scared they're going to get off. I, I really count uh, very well so that I can um, make sure that I don't get caught off guard with a, a mistake. And then I just showed you Home of a Needle Worker, which will be going with me. And then I'm also going to take, because this, although it I didn't do any fill-in work, um, it is straight lines. And this is Current Mood, which is in a Just Cross Stitch uh, Spring 2024 magazine. And... Here's where that is so far. Each one of these um, lines represents a different shade of purple floss. And so that is where I am on that. I am planning on a new start um, at StitchCon. It is going to be Love is Love by Jan Hicks Creates. I'll be getting that while I'm at StitchCon, and it'll be my new start um, at StitchCon. So that is what I have for you today. I thank you so very much. It's only been 27 minutes. I must have been really talking fast. Um, I thank you all so very much for your well wishes. Um, I appreciate you so very much. Last month was incredible. Um, if you continue to stitch on your mental health care style pieces, please tag me. Um, my Instagram is in the description box below. Um, I don't know if it's just me, the way that I'm looking at it trying to look it up but i'm having a difficult time i know there are people stitching on mental health care style pieces but they are not showing up in the instagram feed so if you would be so kind as to tag me in your uh, mental health care style pieces i would appreciate it i uh, hope you all have a very good weekend i probably will not film again until next tuesday um Although I come home on Sunday, I work on Monday, so I'll probably just wait and film either Monday or Tuesday. So I hope you all have a very good weekend. I hope you are getting in some good stitching and you are having some good weather. If you have been impacted by the storms, I am keeping you all in my thoughts and prayers. And take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.